According to JPL NASA's website, electrostatic discharge issues account for $40 billion of problems worldwide. Today, we are going to discuss the pink poly bag and its inability to shield in comparison to a metallized shielding structure. Let's get started. There is a controversy and a myth which exists that pink poly bags shield. They do not, and we will prove that today. Now I'm placing the metalized shielding bag at a distance of approximately four inches inside the simulator, which is the test method ANSI ESD STM 1131. This will discharge a thousand volts and the energy seen inside a bag has to be less than 50 nanojoules. This unit is interfaced with a computer and also attached to an oscilloscope. The first step is to create a thousand volt discharge. I will hit OK as you can see on the computer screen, which triggers the oscilloscope, and now we're generating a thousand kV discharge onto the bag. This is the results of the test. As you can see on the screen, the bag only allowed 3.9 nanojoules to be seen inside the bag structure. Less than 50 nanojoules is required to pass. Now let's try the pink poly bag and measure its ability to shield against a high voltage discharge. Now I'm gonna click OK to determine the pink poly's attenuation or shielding. We see that the result is 937 nanojoules. So it's very clear from the test results that the metallized shielding bag only allowing 3.9 nanojoules to enter the bag structure in comparison to the pink poly bag, which allowed 937 nanojoules to enter the bag structure, that the best choice for shielding is the metalized shielding structure. Consequently, you would not use a pink poly bag to shield any ESD sensitive devices. 